Hi, I'm making this video because I just got finished with a two hour process of trying to figure something out. And uh, I don't want to do that again. So I'm leaving this video for myself, for my future self, but then maybe for anybody else that happens to have the same problem. So I'm building um, uh, an integration that will send an email from an external service, but send it using Go High Level and using a template. And so I've got um, I've got my my uh, Pipe Dream. Uh, if you haven't used Pipe Dream before, by the way, it's really great. So I mean, I've got my Pipe Dream workflow workflow over here, and I'm sending an email using code that kind of looks like this. And so uh, I found in the in the OAuth API that there is a, an endpoint to send a message, and you can send it by sending in the, the uh, template ID and also an appointment ID, which is uh, handy so that it, it pulls the, the appointment at the, at the same time and has all of the appointment information in there. So uh, I wanted to use a template because I don't want to have to manage the, the, the HTML for these emails in a, in, a, in a separate place. I'd rather do that right there in the CRM. So uh, I've got a template created, which I'm just going to share a little bit of my journey with you. Uh, I started off by using these templates because they look nice. And because the other template, the snippet thing, it feels like one of those features that's going to go away someday. So I'd rather kind of just commit to this. Uh, and also I can make my emails look better in, in the template section. Maybe I just don't understand yet what the templates are actually supposed to be for. So maybe I'm using them wrong. But uh, so I started off with this. And uh, in order to... Let's see, let me show you the uh, the endpoint. So this is going to be send, oops, send. Send a new message. And as you can see with send a new message, I can give it a template ID. Now, this is not telling me what kind of template ID this is. This is just telling me template ID. So I'm, I naturally go over here and start trying to figure out, okay, what are the template IDs? And um, and so I went over here and like selected one of these. And once you open up one of the templates, then you you get the URL, and you could probably guess that that one of these values up here is the ID. I'm guessing it's this one right here, the ID for the template, B30. It ends in B30. So then I, I took this this template right here or this ID, and I put it over here in the template ID field for uh, for sending the email through my my. Uh, pipe dream workflow and it would every time i would do that it would come it would come back with um invalid template id i'll show you real quick so uh here's my one week and i'll just do this okay yeah i did that was a little bit too much i don't need all that i need to copy this this id here back over here and we'll paste all right so let me get that um that value in there and then i'll use it down here come on pipe dream there we go all right so now i'm going to use that id to to send an email attempt so it tells me here that the template with id and then it, the, the thing that ends in b30 is not found okay so I thought, well, maybe that means that I've got the wrong ID. Maybe there's another ID somewhere. So I, I, I hunted around and just really couldn't find another ID anywhere. And then it occurred to me that maybe maybe it's talking about these templates, not these templates. So that that was that was a realization. And and so then I I went over here to uh, I created one of the recreated one of the templates in in this section instead. But like here, there's there's really no way to get that ID that I can see. Like I, if you click here, it just opens a modal. There's no change in the URL, so there's no hint about about where the ID is. Um, yeah, you know, I could probably try to click around and try to find where that ID is, maybe in the in the in the Dev Tools or something. But I couldn't find it that way uh, yet. So I, I eventually found it. I'll I'll get to that here in a second. But here's here's what I did. Here's what I was going to do. So if you can send a message with a template, naturally you'd expect that there's a, a way to list the templates. So that's what I was looking at right before I started creating this video. So if I go here and, and uh, by the way, this is not it. Uh, I, I wasted about 30 seconds trying to figure out why this is not the right template, but it, these are for 
invoice templates. It would have been nice to have included the word invoice somewhere here. All right, so here's the, here's the other one. I'm getting snippy. I'm just a little bit infuriated by this. Um, wasting two hours of my life on this. Get all or email. So the, this, I guess, looks like the right thing. When I click here, I want to try this, uh, this endpoint out because I really just want it to list the templates for me so I can see what the dang IDs are. So I could test the API out here. Um, I can put my token in, my, uh, my location ID and everything. But then there's this thing right here called origin ID. In, in all of the API endpoints that I have used in every, I've been doing, I've been doing API integrations with high level for, uh, for more than a year. And, and on a daily basis, I've used almost every single endpoint out there, but then I have no idea what an origin ID is. It gives me an example and it looks like a location ID, but I have no idea what that is. So that's, that's not cool. Uh, now, by the way, it gives me kind of like a, um, a, a, a response example over here which the location ID here is the same thing as the, the, the example for the origin ID, but still like what's going on? I have no idea. I, I guess it's using the same, the same sample string for all of these. So uh, it's just infuriating. Like I, I, there's no, there's no hint about what an ori origin ID is. There's nothing in the docs anywhere else. It's, it's almost, it's almost never required. So it's like, where did this thing come from? So, it's in some of these schemas. Um, I can go to, you know, like attach a Lincoln page and I don't know where, where there would be an origin ID. Okay, there it is. It comes back. But like, what is that origin ID? I have no idea what that is. Okay, sorry. I, I digress. I'll get to the solution now. So here's what I did to find the stupid ID of the snippet template. So if I open up my, uh, my dev tools, uh, forgot the, the keyboard shortcut, unfortunately. So I'm going to go over to network and um, just make sure that when you do this, make sure that this is clear. And then just, just click on edit. And then that's going to pull up all of the, the different things that it has to pull up. And uh, it, it helps to really to just select only fetch X, X, XHRs because this way... Um, this way you, you don't get uh, everything in the list. So when you click on one of these, this is actually something else that's kind of irritating. When you open this modal, it makes these network calls amongst other things. One of these is to get an array, this is an array of um, email templates, which this also sent me off on a, a several minute wild goose chase because these these templates in this array are the templates. These are the templates that I was expecting it to use. These are the templates from the other the other screen over here. The these um I can't get to it, but um the the email uh yeah I can't get to it. But the email templates. So these right here are those email templates. Why is it pulling up these email templates when it's opening this modal? I, maybe it needs some of the information from those. I don't know. It's just, it's, uh, it's infuriating. Um, okay. Trying to get to the solution. I think it's actually over here on this page. If I refresh on just this page, okay, that this is, this is what it does. Or this is what does it. Um, if I re refresh the page and, and have it filtered just by the fetches and the X, XHRs, if I also sort by size so that it's at the top, for me, currently, the biggest one, by far, 184 kilobit, kilobytes instead of 14, the biggest is actually a data, a, a list or, or a, a data blob or a model or whatever for the, pay, the entire page, including all the data. Now, if I search for a part of the name of my email template, which I'm just gonna, I'm gonna search for one week, one week, then it finds it in this, in this array of data. Now, it's got all these different pieces of information, which that's, that's nice. Okay, it just disappeared. All right, we're back. 
So if I scroll up a little bit, <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. So if I scroll up a little bit, I get to the document name. I'm guessing, guessing this is in change history. If I go to the end of this document name, I get this value right here. Documents, templates, and then that value. That's the ID. Oh, that's the ID of this stupid template. So I'll come, if I come back over here and I go back and change the ID to uh, this, this template, which is that. And if I go ahead and get that data moving over, now I'm going to send it. It sends the, it sends the email. There it is. So after all that, I had to go into the, the source of the page to find an ID that's not even, not even correctly. I mean, it's not even saying this is the ID. It's just, I, I, I had to, I had to guess my way through this. So that's why I'm making this video. Um, I'm going to go and take a break. Um, enjoy using high level.